What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the series finale of X and Y on my channel. We're gonna give it a nice little send off, a nice how do you do, and uh, I'm gonna do that by showing you guys a recap video of some of my great moments and some of my past videos on the channel. I'll show you guys the name of the video and the date that it was published. And if you guys want to go and check out those videos, then you can do that by looking through my archives. But Oras is coming out soon. I'm going to be starting a Let's Play either Friday or Monday. And uh, I really hope to see you guys there supporting my playthrough of one of my favorite generations of all time. But you know what my second favorite generation of all time was, and that was Gen 6, right here with Pokemon X and Y. It's been a really big one for me, and I wanted to thank you guys for supporting my channel throughout the entire process. I started off small, I'm still really small, but I'm happy to have you guys. This is my 200 subscriber special, this is my farewell to X and Y. Let's go over some of these moments together. This is the turn, I have no choice, I need to kill Jolteon right now, otherwise I lose this match. Charizard protects. I need to not get hit by a Dark Pulse. There's the Thunderbolt on the Charizard, there's the Dark Pulse. On the Charizard, I can still win this. I can still win it if the Blade Form Sacred Sword takes out this Jolteon. I need it to kill. It does! What the crit? Oh my god, I wonder if that mattered. I really don't think it did. I think it was below half. I Hopefully I didn't get min. But now we know we can solar beam the Blastoise. Let's go for the EQ right out, right? I don't want to over predict at the beginning. I don't necessarily need the Stealth Rock. He doesn't switch out. This is going to do a hefty amount of damage to Sylveon. It takes it out in one hit! I am glad I made that prediction, guys. I am really glad. So that is a dead Sylveon. I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide, and we'll see what we got going on here. It Charizard is a Charizard Y. Okay. So this is gonna hit him four times effective. Hits both. This is gonna be this is gonna be a good turn. Maybe taking out the Charizard Y. Yeah. Does take out the Charizard Y. Meanwhile, the Blastoise is still sitting pretty. But we get the, the flinch! flinch. What an excellent turn! What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and today I got a battle for you guys against the one and only Shady Penguin. So he was looking for a UU battle, so I brought myself a UU team. Go for the knockoff. Uh, it's stab. It'll hit pretty hard, even though it's neutral. Best bet here. Um, she goes for the taunt. Interesting. I'm not sure what she thought I was gonna do against her, but this actually is perfect. This gives me a chance to get a crit. Oh my God, crit mattered so much. There's no way. There's no way I would have gotten that one hit. I hope my voice doesn't sound too weird, guys. I got a little hoarse over the weekend. So Icicle Crash coming through. Tyrantrum will take a little yeah, less yeah, than no. half. Back. No. The hidden, hidden power, power. no I, I, hidden I power fighting. That. I can take that. No problem. All right, cool. There you go. And there's the outspeed earthquake. Friend. That's gonna take them both out. I'm confident. Oh my God, Tyrantrum. Damn it, man. Are you kidding me? Wow, living with- Oh, but he flinches! <laughs> <laughs> he gets the flinch! Oh my god! We wow! Deserve we deserve that. We deserve oh that. my word. We deserve that, man. Uh, that's all I gotta say. You got burned with a flamethrower, dude. I mean, that, that's the least that could happen. Impact. Uh, he outspeeds. This shouldn't even do 50%. There's more than 50%. Unfortunate. So, whoever this last Pokemon is when he comes in. Uh, probably the Garchomp. 
but maybe the Talon Flame. Kiara. And he's Moxie, not Intimidate, but he can easily kill me in two hits. He goes for the Waterfall. If this doesn't kill, actually. It doesn't kill! Hold on, guys, there's a chance here. I'm pretty sure I outspeed Gyarados, and I'm pretty sure if he's not Intimidate, that I take him out with his Giga Impact. Come on, don't be bulky set, don't be bulky set. Yes! Oh my goodness! The sheer power! The power of Choice Band slacking! And I pull that one through. Oh my goodness! Oh my. Whew! Slacking, calm down! Ooh! Whew! Chills. Now I'm not saving that battle spot video. Fire Fang, oh mother -er. that's gonna kill me outright. Oh my god. Ah, oh, bad play. Bad play, Geo, bad play. You're a terrible, terrible man. Terrible human. Tyrantrum, though. Tyrantrum, so good. Tyrantrum, you know what I'm curious to see is some Avalug work right now. So I'm bringing in Avalug. And he's gonna think, hey, Fire Fang, that's super effective, right? That's gonna do so much damage, and I'm gonna go, nah, bro, Avalanche, in his face. He does stay in, he does go for the Fire Fang, this is gonna do so little, guys. Look at this, pitiful, pitiful super effective damage coming from a physical beast like Tyrantrum. There's the Avalanche, you're dead. You're fired. <laughs> I'm done. I'm stupid. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> Shoot! I sh Oh, man. Now I got nothing at all. Um, Terrakian can come in, won't get hurt too much by a Sucker Punch, will one-shot with a Stone Edge as long as I hit it. This is- I'm counting on Terrakian right now to land these Stone Edges. This is horrible. Let's go for the Edge. Do not let me down, bro. I missed. I missed the Stone Edge. There is nothing in this game I hate more than having to rely on Stone Edge. There are no words. There are no freaking words at all right now. For missing the stone edge when you need it the most and... Like, it's fine. Like, you miss a stone edge, you lose one Pokemon, fine. But in a gym battle, you miss a stone edge and you get swept. Your entire team gets swept because you missed the stone edge. Mock Punch got to hope that his damage drop or his defense drop, and the fact that he's at about half health means that I take him out here. I'm s just counting on Kinkelda here. Iron Fist, Mach Punch. I don't know what's taking him so long. It should be pretty obvious what you do here, bro. Because you won't take me out with a Sucker Punch. And you will take me out with a Brave Bird. He does go for the Sucker Punch. Good for you. Look at that. Pathetic. There's the moth, and he goes down. So, good for that. Uh, this might not be too bad a loss. It might not be. I probably, I think I predict Lilligant now to try and do some hacks. Maybe put me to sleep, maybe go for a quiver dance or something. I don't know. I gotta calm myself the whatever down, guys. I really gotta do it. There's Lilligant. Sleep Powder incoming, so um, I gotta hope he misses his Sleep Powder if he goes for it, or doesn't go for the attack. If he goes for an attack right now, whether it kills me or not means I lose to the Haxorus when it comes in. If he goes for the Sleep Powder and misses, I actually have a chance in this game. If he goes for the Sleep Powder, he lands the Sleep Powder. Of course he does. Of course he lands the Sleep Powder. When I can't land a Stone Edge, 
to literally save my life. Literally to save the life of the entire game, I can't land a stone edge. Second turn, wake up. Right now. Go for the quiver dance. Yes. Yes. Wake up. Kinkelder, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Right now. Second turn, wake up. I need it to happen. Yes, baby! Come on, Ice Punch! Take him out. Take out the Lilligan. Yes! Oh my god. It's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. That's what you get for being... Oh my god. Haxorus. What do you got for me, buddy? I think there's a chance. There's still a chance, guys. There's still a chance. I have to ice punch right now. Why would he go for a dragon death? I might have just won. Guys, oh my god, I might have turned this around. I'm so... I'm on the edge of my GD seat. I don't even need a freeze, but if I got one, I would just laugh all the way to the bank. I one-shot him! I, oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe it! I did not expect a win with this, guys. I did not expect a win, not after the Stone Edge miss. Oh my god, I'm so happy. He's gonna recover. I'm gonna sub. Goodness gracious. And uh, I wonder if Sandstorm will do 9 damage to him. I'm gonna go for the Endeavor here. He's gonna go for the T-Bolt. I wonder if Sandstorm does 9 damage. Because I'm gonna hit this guy down to 9 instead of down to 12. And uh, we just gotta hope that that does it, that that does the trick. It does do the trick. We do take out that Porygon too, so thank god I tech sub on this guy. Um, we've got, I think, maybe two more turns of the Sandstorm here. Um, at full health, things are looking good now. Things are looking really good here. Uh, Aaron is putting in work, baby. Putting in the work. Gonna go for the Endeavor. Let's see what he goes for. If he has sub, now he's gonna go for the Skull. Going for the Burn. Fishing for a Burn. That's a really good play on his part. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Oh wait, does it happen after? It doesn't get it. Sandstorm's gonna- <laughs> Oh my god. Aaron putting in work, baby. Putting in work. Healing up to full here. Gonna take this guy out with the Sandstorm. Oh, Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. I love you so much. We need one more turn of the Sandstorm to complete this Aaron sweep. And guys, I am so excited right now. I'm so excited. Aaron is putting it in. Endeavor here. Let's see what he goes for. He's gonna go for the play rough. Um, not a bad play because he might actually missed it and then he could have. No, he couldn't have done anything. Can't do anything. Endeavor's gonna bring this guy down to 1 HP. Aaron's gonna get back up to full HP. I'm so happy. And Rock Type Jim is gonna net two. Gotta go for the fiery dance in the sun and try and take out this Charizard. There's a chance. There's a 37% chance I one-hit KO with this bad boy right now. Ugh, a little bit of uh, investment, but I do get a special attack rise. We're gonna see the air slash here. No crit. Please no crit. Please no crit. Oh! I just barely live. I just barely, barely, barely live. I'm gonna go for the Fiery Dance again. He can switch out or he can stay in, but this is the chance right now. Volcarona, it is your show now. It is no longer Mega Heracross's show. I hit the Fiery Dance, Charizard goes down. Okay. Guys, I, my heart is beating out of my chest. I want so badly for this gym to work. I want it so bad. I want it so, so bad. Whew, so the Charizard goes down. Oh man, I did not anticipate that. I thought as soon as I saw the Charizard, I thought I'm done. I should have handled it differently. I could have handled it better, but I did. I just did not do well. Lucario comes in, he's got a... Shoot. He's got priority. Lucario has the priority. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Gotta go for the Fiery Dance. I don't have any other reason to keep JP Mothley around. Uh, he goes for the Vacuum Wave and that will kill JP Mothley. So, too bad I didn't one-shot with the uh, Fiery Dance earlier. Might have had a chance of surviving that afterwards, especially given that it was a special attack, a vacuum wave, but just didn't work out that way this time. Frodo's got to come in here and um, 
I've got to lock myself into the Brick Break here. And we're going to be cutting it close. I go for the Brick Break. Can you take out the Lucario, baby? Can you take him out? Yes, okay. <sighs> oh, this is such a close battle, guys. This is such a close battle. Such a close battle. Oh, my goodness. Saul's Buck. Come for me, baby. Slow, you're in the sticky web. There's no more sunlight. The sunlight has done. Oh, I think I got this. Saul's Buck is 95 speed, but he's lost a lot of it. I'm not sure that he can one-shot me. Going for the Brick Break. Can he do it? Come on, Proto. Come on, Proto. Yeah, baby! Woo and we get a narrow 1-0 win against Powers. I was face bombing right now. <laughs> <The> face bomb? <laughs> no, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna pull a scissor so I'm just gonna change my voice every yeah. two seconds. Oh I promise that you'll never hear the same voice. I don't do it every two seconds. What are you talking about? I am very consistent with my voice. <laughs> <laughs> that was really hard. Yeah. Uh, I figured for you. Difficult, difficult. Yeah. Uh, he is going to baton pass. Let's see. Maybe to Hydreigon? I'm thinking Hydreigon. With minus two attack, there's no way he wants to pass that to a physical sweeper. You know, if it's a physical sweeper, I'm okay with it. It's Hydreigon. See, because if it was a special sweeper, either Seviper or Hydreigon, they're going to get hit super affected by this U-turn. Choice Banded U-turn. Can this take out the Hydreigon? Yes, it can. Hydreigon goes down. Oh, man. That worked out well. Good gracious, Crustaceous. I hate to play this game. I'm going for Recover again, though. Uh, he is going to withdraw, and I'm going to be at 100% HP as Infernape comes in and can double super effective hit me, but I do have Sturdy. So the question becomes, ladies and gentlemen, can I one-hit KO this guy with a resist... No, you know what? He's special. He's a special Infernape. He's a special Infernape. He's a special infernate. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts me a little bit. Watch this. Watch that one HP, baby. Watch that one HP. And now watch the sturdy. And now watch. And now watch. Miracoat, you're fired. You are fired, infernate. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! That is why I stalked that attack, baby, right there. I don't even care that I'm losing Avalog right now. He is dead. That is a dead, dead Avalog.